What's up everybody, it's GQ. I'm here at my shop, GQ Cuts Hair Shop in La Puente. Today we're gonna do a tutorial on scissor work. More of like what you would typically see that comes in in a salon for like male grooming. Um, I've already done like clipper work for my client and we're gonna do like a transition into the shear work. So, so that way you can kind of see like my technique on how to use your shears. So first what I'm going to do is wet the top of the crown with a water bottle and I just want to use a little bit of water and then what I do, just to kind of use as a cutting motion, I'm going to put just this much in my hand and what I'm going to use is a Johnny B gel and it's basically used as a cutting lotion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand on the left side of my client and I'm going to start from the bangs and I'm gonna work through the crown. And what I'm doing right now is I'm only cutting the mid of the crown area. And what I'm really trying to focus on is just cutting the length that I want. So whatever the client is trying to tell you like, or whatever the client tells you like, oh, this is what I wanna cut off my length, um, you would basically just clean all that part out. So when you have the client in front of the mirror, so let's do that right now. Like in consultation, when you have the client in front of the mirror and you comb out the hair, and you tell them like this is how much I'm going to cut off, um, you basically use that as your guide and you work your way all the way through the crown. After you cut the length in the middle of the crown, what you want to do is you want to comb out the mid part and all you're doing is evening out that guide. So now that I've cut all this one length, I then move to the sides and I match it up to where I left off with the clipper. This right here is one length, right? And here is where we left off with the clipper. So you can break down the sides into three parts, maybe like in three inches. So you then transition the top guide down to where you left off with the clipper. But this is where you can actually combine the barbershop world to the salon world. Where you left off with the clipper, I maybe left off with about a three and a half or a four. But you see how the guide is right in my fingers. You then transition that clipper work with your shears into the top part. If you do have like weight lines or shadows or you, can, you can't overcome that, um, you can do shear over comb or you could even use your uh, thinning shears to kind of clean up that weight line. I'm gonna do the same thing on the left side here. I'm actually just bringing that guide down to the side of the crown. And again, what I'm gonna do is comb out that section where the clipper work, where I finished off with the clipper work, and I then transition to my shear work. So the back part here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna comb all the section out, and where the clipper work finished off, that's where I'm going to transition with my shear work. Um, but that's it. Um, you, with this type of haircut, we just cut more round, so if he wanted to style his hair in a full hawk, he could, or you can have more of like the messy look, but we've already taken care of the fade. I just wanted to show the transition and how to use uh, your shears. Thanks for checking us out. Hopefully the tips worked out for you and hopefully you can put your shears to work on your next scissor cut. Eh? Thanks a lot.